So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And in this video guide, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get this Oath Seeker armor set with a brand new weapon too called the Patar, I believe it's pronounced. P-A-T-A. -A. It's incredible. It's a fist type weapon. Just my kind of style. Swinging, blittering on enemies at speed. It's just what we like, guys. Today we get into it all. It also comes with a talisman too. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the Oath Keeper armor set, as you can see, Oath Keeper, Oath Seeker, sorry. The Oath Seeker armor set, as you can see, looking pretty badass. You can see right here guys, we have the weapon too, the Pata, the Patar, however you want to pronounce this. It scales with strength, dexterity, so not bad. Now a little bit more on the weapon for those interested, a versatile armament that can be swung about like a fist or used in the manner of a straight sword. Skill impaling thrust, which if you want to witness is this right here. Now if you two hand this weapon guys, obviously apply it to both fists which is good. Uh, so yeah, have, you have the options there for you people. So yeah, it's a decent weapon, my kind of style like I said. I love these fast swinging weapons and that's what we get with this. So what about the armor? So the armor guys is the Oath Seekers. You can see it's like a medium load, not too bad at all. I don't think there's any special attributes to it. Uh, just black with gold armamentation. So yeah, that's about it guys. But hey, it still looks pretty good people. Uh, and it also comes like a sip of a talisman, which I'll tell you, show you about in a quick second. Okay, so the talisman is at this right here. I'm not really going to use it, it's not for me, but hey, it's called a, a Blessed Blue Drew Talisman. Slowly restores FP. So yeah, so all of this, all this good stuff guys is located right here on the map. Right there, the Church of Benediction, which is right above where you spawn into the Shadow Realm. But how do you even get here? Well firstly, you have to come through or come past Prospect Town. How do you get there? Well guys, you actually have to go all the way around. I'm going to showcase how you do this. So, let's go to this grace point right here, guys. If you haven't got to this grace point yet, get there. I mean, this is the first one. This is the second one you're more likely to come to. And then you'll come along the road. And you come to this one right here. The free path cross. I'll show you the location from this grace point. Um, me, myself, I was confused. I could see the buildings up there from across the other side of the map. I was thinking, what is up there? How do I get up there? Today, I'll showcase everything you need to know. So, from the grace point, guys, I take my trousers off. and took my trousers off. I'm an idiot. So yeah, come this way. I just want to follow this path. Now, how are you guys enjoying this DLC? I mean, to me, it's just like a whole new game. It's so big. There's so much good just to find. Gotta love it. You got to love it. From software, I've absolutely smashed it. With this DLC, there's no two which ways about that. Okay, so I believe you go left up here. So you come up here, and then you go left. Just like oh, actually, it's left just there. They go a little bit past it, but hey, so it's left just this way. I mean, it's hard to see when you come up here, guys. That's what I mean. It's a path all the way around. And I just want to go to Prospect Town because there is a talisman I needed there too, which I've collected, which you can expect to guide on very soon indeed. So let's follow this path all the way around. It's quite a, quite a trek, but hey, there are graces to unlock up here, so you are good. We run past all these enemies, all these bat looking mofos. And there we have the graze point right there. Okay, so from this graze point, guys, which is. I'm gonna have to actually get off my horse to see because it won't let me go into my map while I'm in combat. Okay, so this is the Cliff Road Terminus graze point right there. So now we've got to make our way down to this church. So I'll just mark it. Then, guys, so you wanna face this way. Jump on your mount and come this way. Just like so, people. Just like so. So it is, again, quite a bit of a trek. There's no grace point actually down here that I could find. Uh, but yeah. There's also a lightning and giant goats here. It's a weird area, it really is. I don't know what's going on with the people up here, but look at the size of them too. Yeah, giant yellow. Well, that's only a normal. That's a sheep, in it? On go, but look at this dude on your left, right hand side. Look at the size of him. And you'll see lightning start shooting down as well. I haven't actually explored this area as much as I should do. But hey, from here, guys, you want to go right at these rocks. 
So don't go up there, as enticing as it is. Run past that giant rat. Come around this corner. And just like this. And through here, guys. There will be an enemy here who will try to attack you. Don't worry about him. Jump down here, guys. And from here, you will see that the talisman is right inside of this church. And then when you come outside, as you'll see on the screen now, is the armor set that all seekers as well as the Peta weapon. And there you have it guys. A short but sweet one for you guys today. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.